Are you wondering if the Rode microphones actually work with iPhones? Well, then actually most of uh, these microphones actually do work with iPhones. However, there are some nuances basically, and some actually work better than others, and for some there are some problems. So, let me explain. Uh, first, I do have this uh, higher-end video mic NTG here, and this does have this Type-C output, and also this regular 3.5 mm output. I think the uh, video mic Go 2 also has this Type-C output. However, the Type-C output really absolutely sucks on these microphones, and it's not properly designed, and they don't really disclose this anywhere at all. So, if you purchase, you will really uh, pull you out your hair trying to get this work, but this is not really designed for that, as the, it's not properly working. So, if you try to connect it uh, through this Type-C to your iPhone, it will still record sound, but the sound will be very low, and you won't be able to pretty much adjust the gain on this microphone here. So, and yeah, the sound quality, it's not really, it's not mean for the output sound quality, it's pretty much mean for charging. And really, shame on your road for not disclosing this, because literally other brands such as DT, D4 microphone can output through the Type-C and can use this gain knob on these, it doesn't work. So the way you output, you have to get a basically a TRRS adapter, uh, sorry not that one, but basically uh, which has got these three rings on one end basically. Do not purchase this uh, like with uh, like regular two rings because these do not work. So you need to purchase a cable which has this TRS on one end, on, on the other basically is a like a type C adapter. Uh, I have, for example, Type-C here, using some, uh, yeah, I had lying around, or the lightning port that you need to basically to use it. Okay, then when you actually connect your microphone to your iPhone, then uh, it gets kind of complicated, depending on the model you have, basically. On, uh, on some microphones, if you actually install this Rode Central app, uh, go to the App Store, you can actually uh, adjust the gain in this app I think somehow so I don't have that microphone here that would support it but I think these are the supported microphones the wireless me wireless go to and video mic go to i.e micro and anti usb basically so uh, I think this app will work for these microphones and you could adjust the gain and do some other stuff in that app then if you do not have those microphones I think you, if you use, for example, the regular iPhone uh, video recording app, uh, you, there won't be any way to adjust the volume of those microphones and adjust some settings. Then you basically have to use this Rode Capture uh, video application, and this actually is insanely good. It's a bit slow to load, at least for me, but uh, so basically on this side here, um, you can click this and you will be able to adjust the microphone gain here. So if your microphone does not have this microphone uh, like gain adjustment, I think the only N Rode M video mic NTG has this. So if you don't have that, um, then you basically have to use this app here and you can adjust the volume in this app here basically. And, and this app is actually very, very good actually. It's actually better than the stock uh, camera app because for example, when you take like start video, you also go this pause button and on the uh, original uh, like iPhone camera app, you do not get this pause button basically. And this is incredibly helpful and it's really streamlines your video production level. You don't have to sift through junk footage or join clips later. And again, iPhones really suck at not including this feature. All Android phones has this feature, at least this app has it. And actually using this app all the time, even if I'm not using the Rode microphone because it's much more advanced than the standard, uh, like, uh, like standard iPhone uh, video recording app. Then also you got the Rode uh, Reporter app where you can um, again hook up your microphone and record just sound. And again, you can adjust this sound here basically. By the way, currently I 
do not have uh, adapter to use this microphone with an iPhone. So, but I use it, this microphone with an Android phone. When I actually use this app on Android, it has Android version as well. It actually, the gain it doesn't get adjusted very well, and the microphone sound quality isn't very good. So I'm not sure how well it works with uh, with iPhones because, for example, on Android, it, these apps are pretty much useless when it comes to that. And that's why you really need the gain knob on this, so I can adjust the gain manually. By the way, if you are looking to get one of these microphones, I really suggest you uh, to go for pretty much these three first three either the pro or pro plus for example in the used market there are plenty of them they are mega mega cheap maybe like 50 bucks you can purchase this pro or pro, pro plus basically and they'll provide insane value for money also they have the gain button but uh, if you want even better sound quality then really get this Rode video mic ntg this has got insanely good sound quality and uh, way better than any of these in the list well the Pro and Pro Plus also has got pretty decent sound quality, but they are older microphones and yes, yeah, sound quality lacks a bit compared to this one. Then when we go to the Go and Go 2, do not get the Go uh, regular Go, as that's, uh, I don't think it's a good microphone. The Go 2 has got some more advanced features and it actually doesn't sound too bad for the price they are asking, but there is a huge problem. You get this static noise in the background when you use that microphone. Again, there are a lot of people complaining about that microphone online, that uh, they do, they are paying uh, kind of a lot for cheap microphone. I mean, the, it's cheaply made microphone, I would say, the go to, and they are still asking quite a lot of it. The sound quality is probably average, I would say, for that microphone. However, yeah, as a lot of people actually purchase it However, when they get it. Uh, and if actually listen back to the sound quality, the sound quality is probably acceptable really, but the problem is you get this like background hiss a bit. So when you actually listen closely, it doesn't have like like good noise uh, insulation here. And these NDG microphones are much more properly made and they're more uh, insulated against any interfaces, basically like electrical interface. Um, and basically stuff like that. So I wouldn't suggest a go to simply because of that. If you want the top order quality and you will need to post process the audio on those to get rid of that background uh, like self noise. Self noise, that's what it's called, I forgot. The Pro and Pro Plus are pretty good at the self noise and they do not have pretty much any. So still I think the NTG is better when it comes to self noise, but Pro and Pro Plus also are pretty good. The Go and Go 2 are, yeah, they kind of suck. Then this video micro uh, 1 or 2, I would stay away from this microphone. It's it's uh, it's a cheap garbage, really. So the sound quality is absolutely terrible on that microphone. There are much, much better microphones for that price, like 10 times better microphones for that price. And also they have that self noise. The sound quality isn't good at all. It's a way, be way below that Go 2. The Go 2 actually is ice. If for most people this go to sound quality isn't that bad actually, it's pretty okay. For video micro, avoid that microphone, terrible sound. By the way, in the description I will leave a link to that cables you actually need to connect it to iPhones. So check it out. Also, if you want to see more videos about these microphones, then make sure to subscribe, so I have plenty more coming. See you!